In this video, very important information when it comes to gas magazines. Doesn't matter if it's for a pistol, rifle, SMG, anything in between. This is super important because we have some differences and it causes problems because people don't understand the valves that the magazines come with. So let's start at the beginning, gonna explain everything and trust me, if you didn't know about this, it will change your airsoft life. Let's get started with the basics. We have airsoft gas and we are trying to get the liquid part of the gas inside of the magazine because that's what gives us the capacity, the shot count. That's why we are filling magazines upside down. We are trying to get the liquid inside of the magazine. And now people are having different types of issue. Let's start with the first one and that is you fill your magazine you shoot a few shots and it's suddenly empty. This is because you have a single stage valve and you have a warmer magazine than the bottle. If you have a warmer magazine, there is more pressure inside of the magazine, colder bottle, less pressure. So you are trying to fill high pressure container with a low pressure container, doesn't work. You are not getting enough gas inside. This is the case with the single stage valve. Remember that single stage, gonna explain the differences later. But this is one of the issues. If you have a single stage magazine, definitely always make sure that the magazine is a little bit colder than the bottle. How do you do that? You just warm it up in your hands and now you can easily fill a single stage magazine. Now let's take the other magazine and let's illustrate the second quote unquote issue that people are having and that is leaking while filling. So you will notice hissing when I start to fill this magazine. Now it's hissing and people tend to think that this is wrong. That is wrong because this is correct and it's by design of the valve. More on that later. This is a dual stage valve, it works differently, I will explain. And now the third issue is that you fill your magazine completely to the full and then you shoot your pistol or a rifle and you are getting these huge clouds of gas out and uh, it cools down your rifle and it doesn't work as it should. Remember, every time you shoot a gas gun, you get these huge clouds, not good. Why does this happen? It's because you overfill or fill the magazine to 100% of the capacity and there is liquid gas all the way to the top of the gas magazine and while you fire the first shot, it sucks in the liquid and then your system is cooled down. It doesn't work as it should. So we have to prevent that from happening. So these are the three most common issues. Now I will take my time to explain how you prevent that from happening and get you the information you need to not have these issues. So let's get started with valve design. Generally speaking, we have two types of valves. We have a single stage valve and we have a dual stage valve. What is the difference? Single stage valve, you can think of it as one way valve. It basically just allows you to put the gas in and that's it. How you can tell a single stage valve is that you don't hear anything while filling or you don't hear much. That's it. Now I'm filling a magazine, it's close to the mic and you don't hear anything. Now this magazine is quote unquote full. Since it's a one-way valve, it only lets things in and doesn't let anything out. That means there is more pressure and you are getting only a portion of the liquid inside and the rest is just gas. This has two advantages. First one is that well, it doesn't leak, people don't think it leaks. Uh, so that's the first advantage. It's actually more beneficial for the manufacturer to only use these because they get less uh, questions about it. Just fill it, that's it. Second advantage is that you cannot overfill it. So you are generally not getting these huge clouds of gas out unless you do something like, uh, you know, really freezing it up and filling it to the top, you know, these weird things. Uh, but that's outside of the scope of this video. You can trick the system, but that's not the point. All right, those are the two advantages. Doesn't leak and you cannot overfill it, generally speaking. But it also has a disadvantage. Since it's a one-way valve, you will always, almost always end up with 
liquid, let's say for the purpose of this video, 50% of liquid gas and the rest is just gas. So you are not utilizing the full potential of this magazine because of the valve design. What does that mean? You can shoot less shots because your mag capacity is just not utilized to 100%. Now, when we take a look at the dual stage valve, this is completely different system. How can you tell a dual stage valve is that while you fill it, there is actually air or gas coming out. What does this do? This allows you to fill the magazine to 100% capacity with liquid gas and that gives you more shots out of your gun. And now I will show you how this one works. As you could hear, while I was filling this magazine, it lets gas out and makes space for liquid, giving you more capacity. Now this has again advantages and disadvantages. The first disadvantage is that you can overfill this magazine, meaning that you put 100% of liquid inside, which is not good for the gun, because with the first shot it will suck in the liquid, it will cool down your system and it's not gonna work as it should. So that's the first thing we have to deal with. The obvious advantage is that um, you can fill this magazine more. That gives you more shots out of your gun. That was the advantage. And now the second disadvantage actually is that people think it leaks. So it's sometimes harder to explain to people how this works. And that's why I'm making this video. The leaking is not a bad thing. It is a good thing. You just need to know how to work with these magazines. And now I will tell you how to work with these magazines. So let's <laughs> empty it completely. And now we have to make sure that we fill it to the ideal gas capacity, which is about 70 to 80%, leaving enough space for the gas, the, the gas gas, so that your gun doesn't suck in the liquid gas and therefore cooling it down. How do we do that? It is a little bit of experience you need to know for about how long you need to fill the magazine, but you can also feel it in your hand. If you hold it like this, you will be able to feel the cold rising up. That means the liquid is slowly filling up the magazine. Once you are about in the middle, stop filling the magazine and then you will end up with about 70 to 80% of liquid inside. Why in the middle? Because it takes a little bit of time until the cold reaches your hand and by the time you feel it in the middle, it's already slightly above that. So this is how it looks like. I'm gonna fill the magazine and stop when I feel the cold in the middle. And now I can feel it somewhere right here and it's still slowly rising to 70 to 80%. And now I know that this magazine is ready to go. I'm getting the optimal amount of capacity of liquid, therefore the maximum shot count from my gun. Now I'm gonna show you what happens when you overfill this magazine, which is one of the downsides. You can actually overfill, fill it to 100%. Now it started spilling actual liquid everywhere around because now there is no more gas, gas coming out. There is nothing left. It's just liquid, so it spills out liquid. When this happens to you, don't worry, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, just uh, shoot four shots, usually three to four shots, to let a little bit of the gas out and then you will end up with the ideal capacity. Just be aware that it will cool down your gun and it might not be as accurate or powerful anymore for a little bit. Just let everything sit for a while, the temperature equalizes and you will be good to go with ideally filled magazine. Now I know this was a lot of information for you to take in, so maybe it's a good idea to watch this video again, but I will also summarize this one more time in real quick bullet points. Now first let's start with the single stage valve. This valve, when you fill it, it doesn't leak. The single stage, generally speaking, cannot be filled to 100% capacity. There are workarounds, but generally speaking, you cannot fill this completely and you also cannot overfill it like with this magazine. The only thing you need to know when using these magazines is the temperature difference. So the magazine needs to be a little bit colder than the bottle. 
then you will have no issues with this type of magazine. But it doesn't allow you to fill with more liquid and then get more shots out of your gun. So that is the single stage. Now the dual stage valve, when you fill it in, it will let a little bit of gas out, making space for liquid gas. This gives you the advantage of having more gas capacity inside of your gun, but it can also lead to issues with overfilling and then cooling down your gun too much. Also, people tend to think that this is wrong, that it leaks while you're filling it. This is simply not the case. And now, since you watched this video, you already know. The important thing to know about this magazine is that you should hold it in your hand like this and feel how much gas you have. And once you are in the middle, stop filling and then you will get to 70 to 80% of the capacity, which is the optimum. You will get the most shots out of your gun when you fill this magazine between 70 or 80% of capacity. And now the question is, which one is better? Single stage, dual stage? Well, there is no better or worse. It really depends on your preferences. Generally speaking, for new players, the single stage tend to be more forgiving. The dual stage gives you a more shot count if you know how to fill it. So both will work pretty much exactly the same. You will not notice a power difference. If used correctly, both of them are just fine. If you are wondering about my personal preference, I do prefer the dual stage valve because I just have more control over the amount of gas I put in. Last but not least, when it happens that you overfill this magazine, meaning there is a liquid gas coming out while you're filling, just stop, just shoot a couple of times and then you will end up with the correct capacity. Just be aware that it will cool down your gun for a while and you will need to wait until it gets back to the normal temperature. Now you might be asking, which type of valve do I have in the magazine? Well, first and foremost, you should check if it lets air out while you're filling. Then you can be pretty sure that you have a dual stage valve and everything I said about dual stage valves applies. Now, if you are filling your magazine and you don't hear anything, there are two options. You either have a single stage valve or you have a dual stage valve with an O-ring on the inside. Now, why is this? If you have an O-ring on the inside, which you can see from outside of the magazine, if you have an O-ring right there that is big enough to prevent the gas from coming out, then the dual stage valve will act as a single stage valve. You can turn it into dual stage valve by removing the O-ring on the inside and then see if you get the gas coming out. Also, one sign of a single stage valve is that it doesn't have a hole anywhere on the inside, while dual stage valves have a hole right here to allow the air to go out. So this is how you can tell. Now these are the general rules, but be aware that different manufacturers do it differently. Sometimes you have a dual stage valve with an O-ring inside that acts as a single stage valve. If you take out the O-ring, you will get a dual stage. Sometimes you just get a single stage and there is no way to turn it into dual stage valve. So you really have to check for these signs and then um, figure out what type of valve you have. Now, if you have a valve from us or a magazine from us, we will let you know which valve you have inside. I hope this video helped you. I hope you learned something new. And now, hopefully, you will never have a problem uh, while filling your gas magazines.